She is worth more than gold Like the stars in the sky She is worth more than diamond She is worth more than silver She's a virtuous woman. No can easy one you do call. Yeah,
worship the Lord this moment. Our God is good. You are good from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. Oh, you are God all by yourself. You are God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are taking number four in the program. We'll come back to number three. First him fading away like the stars of the morning. Let's take our first hymn. Hallelujah. Fading away like the stars of the morning, losing their light in the glorious sun. Those who
want to take our first reading want to call on Dr. Chris Eremolo to take the first reading. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Is that all right? Um, Excuse me. The first reading is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, from verse 1 through 8. To everything that is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sue, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time to war and a time of peace. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Praise God. We want to introduce the clergy that are present here on behalf of Apostle Chris Remolo. We want to introduce the clergy. Praise the name of the Lord. Our bishop is here, Bishop F. O. Udume. Bishop F. O. Udume. The name of the Lord, our Reverend Dr. F. Obasa, the coordinator, CGMI Eka Zone One. And before I continue, I want to let us know that the people that are organizing this uh, service of song for our mother is CGMI Eka Zone One where our mother worship before her exit and our mama is still there reverend m Baba, the zona mama a cause of one mama you are come our bishop bishop Iwerebo ao is here Bishop, you are welcome, sir. Reverend Professor Okake Akokotu is here. You are welcome, sir. Venerable Pat Oyeka Chuku Oko is here. Venerable, you are welcome, sir. Evangelist Dr. S.I. Okte is here with us. You are welcome, sir. Pastor Dr. Mrs. Ian Oposer is here. And our Reverend C. C. Njebu is here. Let's celebrate her. Celebrate him, sorry. And our Pastor Mrs. S. Wagen Major is in the house. Apostle Samuel E. Co. is in the house. Mm. Reverend Success Atewe is in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, sorry. Let's say, Miss somewhere. 
Reverend Professor Akoko to is in the house. Hallelujah. Go to call him Pastor Bowe, Protocol Department, Government House. Let's celebrate our brother as he walked down to this place. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Keep celebrating him until you take the microphone from me. Yes, keep celebrating him. Hallelujah. My job is very simple this evening. I've been asked to introduce those who have come from Government House. And leading the pack is His Excellency Senator Dr. Arthur Ifan Yokoa, the Governor of Delta State. We also have our mother, we call her Mama Delta, Dame the Evangelist Edith Okoa, the wife of the Governor. Our Excellency, the wife of the Governor of Edo State, Our Excellency Mrs. Obasaki, we welcome you. The Right Honorable Elder Sharif Francis Abarowari, the Speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly, and by the grace of God, the Governor elect of Delta State. He's not here alone, he's here with his wife, Dickness. Tobari Obarawali. The Right Honorable Undudi Elumelu, the Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, we welcome you, sir. The Honorable Victor Mwokolo represents a Ka Federal constituency and the House of Representatives, we welcome you, sir. Let me also welcome specially the Honorable Dr. Princess Pat Ajidwa the Chief Whip of the Delta State House of Assembly. We have also the Chief Strategist to the Governor, Dr. Festus Okubo. We welcome you. Chief Lawrence Oshebu, we welcome you. The Honorable Chief Ross Uredi. We also have Chief Godwin Ogadi, Dickin Chuks Mwebodi, Weshi Dada Okonji, we also have the principal secretary to the governor, Hilary Begulam, is also here. And Honorable Ifan Yabwebe, the state director of protocol. I can see the other way, Dr. Frank Wogo is also with the government. And of course, Bishop Oshen is also a government man. So I think I'd like to stop here for want of time. Thank you very much, sir. Let's celebrate our brother once again with a clap of hand. Praise the name of the Lord. Want to take the second reading? My hope is built on nothing less. Second reading. Sorry, second hymn. Second hymn. Second him, my hope is built. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest flame. But only live on Jesus' name. All Christ, the soul, will walk as 
Pardon, monsieur. 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 Join me to celebrate Bishop Oshen. You are welcome, sir. The second reading. We call on Nico Nkechi to take the second reading. Let's celebrate her as she's walking to the podium. Take the microphone for me. Mrs. Nico Nkechi. Praise the Lord. The second reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, from 13 to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto, unto the coming of the Lord Jesus shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the earth. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, man. Let's take the third hymn, Blessed Assurance. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet as we take the second, third hymn, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Over the fullness of glory. Oh, 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 oh,
We want to call on the Equifi Choir. You have a presentation. Be very, very brief about that. Be very, very brief about that. Let's celebrate the Equifi Choir as we walk down to the stage. Let's celebrate them and they walk down to the stage. Praise the Lord! Children of God, I said, praise your God! Hallelujah. Our God is good! All the time. We are here for the sake of our mother. Our mother has lived long. He has lived a life that is worth to be emulated. It is a woman to be celebrated. It's a woman called by God. His love does not give us sorrow. Our life does not give us sorrow. Our life gives us joy. That is why today we are celebrating. Our death brings glory to God. Our death did not be sure, God. He brings glory to the Almighty God. When you look at the mothers of our mommy, you will see the apostles. You will see evangelists. You will see apostles. You will see reverence. Sir. This is the glory of God. We are here to thank our God. We are here to bless the Lord. Because he has done something great which no man can do for us. We are here as we sing. Join us to celebrate in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our song says, Listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. In your machuku ne dim remene ye hike. Asine kama o ne kenya kode rekile. Chukuri anya so ya o wa jimejo. Asine kama o anya kogu kade rekile. Ona noade. Machuku ne dim remene ye hike. Asine kama o anya kogu kade rekile. Chukuraya so 
Bible say choir. What the Lord is doing for us, to start saying it, it takes the whole day, the whole year. That's the meaning of that song. Praise the name of the Lord. Choir. Choir. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I want you to turn to someone on your left and tell the person, I never lost my hope. Turn to the person on your right and tell the same person, I've never lost my hope. Hallelujah. And I've lost some good friends along life's way some loved ones departed in heaven to stay but thank god i did lose everything i lost faith in people who said they cared in the times of my crisis they were never there but in my disappointment in my season of pain one thing never wavered one thing never changed I never lost all my hope Ooh, say I never lost my joy I never lost my joy The joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength I never lost my faith Some blessings I've let the sleep. 
Hallelujah. Is that not wonderful? Give me a round of applause again. That is wonderful. We are about to feast from the table of the Lord. Honor is my to invite the servant of God to give us the word tonight. Join me to welcome Reverend C.C. Njegu for the word of God. Let's celebrate the servant of God. Let's celebrate him. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Lord is good. Amen. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Our Father in heaven, we bless your holy name. We thank you, we love you. For the privilege of giving to us to gather here this evening. For this service of songs. We thank you because since we started, your presence has been here with us. Thank you for the journey message you granted to each and every one of us. Thank you for what you are about to do right now. We say may your name be highly exalted and be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask as we hear your word. We pray that your word we are going to hear will bring life. We bring revival. We bring restoration into our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of distraction, we banish you out of this environment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Dear Holy Spirit, we welcome and acknowledge you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have it. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. We want to thank the Almighty God for bringing all of us here and for making today a reality. I want to thank God also for the life of our bishops, the apostles, all the God's general, the pastors that are here present. I also want to thank God for the life of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Delta State, our Mama, Her Excellency, and also want to thank my Father in the Lord. There are two here. First is Bishop Festus Udume and Reverend. Dr. Festus Obasa. Let's put our hands together for them. I know that it's, it's not easy, if not the grace of God, for me, small boy like me, to stand in the presence of this God's generous to preach the word. I pray that God will give me the grace in Jesus' name. All right. I still want to thank God for the life of our Governor elect is also here in our midst. That you are welcome. The Lord bless you. All protocols observed. The word I want to share tonight is not strange because almost everyone here is a Christian. But the Bible tells us that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. To examine our lives if we are living up to expectation. If not, what do we do? We make a man. My test is taken from the book of Acts of the Holy Ghost. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9. I'll read 36 to 41. Acts chapter 9, verse 36. Now there was a Joppa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation was called, is called Dukas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Who 
whom when they would have had washed they, they laid her in an upper chamber and for as much as Lydia was near to Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there they sent unto him two men desiring him that he would not delay to come to them verse 39 then Peter arose and went with them when he was come they brought him into the upper chamber and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which the cast made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and knelt down and prayed. And turning him to the body said, Tabitha arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Verse 41. And he gave her his hand and lifted her. And when he had called his saints and widows, presented her alive. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm preaching on the topic I titled Your Good Work We Speak for You. Hallelujah. I want to let us know that God has created man to be of help or benefit to one another. When you look around, all the fingers are not equal. But they all have roles to play. In the society we are, we have the rich, we have the poor. And it is expected of God that what you, he has blessed you with, that use it to be a blessing to others. Where I read just now about this woman they call Dokas, the Bible says she was full of good works and armed deeds. She was able to identify her purpose in life. For me, I believe she lived a, 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 a fulfilled life. She was able to discover the, the widows around her. And she took it upon herself without even asking money from them. She decided to sew garments giving them free nobody knew about it but she was doing it and God was seeing it the Bible says it came to a time that this woman died oh my God let me tell somebody there are things some people do when they are alive people find it difficult to say it but when they are dead either good or bad they will say it you know what the women, the widows did? When they sent for Peter, Peter came. Peter, an apostle of the gospel. The widows came with the garments this woman gave to them. They were crying, they were weeping. Who will do this thing for us again? Lord, we don't want this woman to die. We want you to bring her to life. Look at the garments. Oh, in fact, she will be helping us. Most of the time, she will buy bags of rice. Most of the time, she did a lot of things. They were saying it. And this thing touched the heart of God. Peter now asked all of them, just give way. He prayed. And the woman came back to life. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But then, note that from the time of death, the death record history is being taken. Whatever any, any man or woman is doing, people are seeing it record is being taken down and so that is why when we come to an occasion like this we have to speak to ourselves the life i'm living is it what emulating what is god saying about me and so that you look at you discover that you are not living and what you do you change for good I will not begin to say as if maybe we are pointing to some people we look examine our lives you know that it came to a time in the bible jesus was asking his disciples who do men say that i am personal evaluation he called his what do people say about me i want to know if i'm doing right or i'm doing wrong so that i can change 
are called, they said, some say you are Elijah, some say you are Moses. He said, but you, what did you say I am? Peter said, thou art Christ, the son of the living God. He said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father, which is in the heaven. And upon this shock, I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Somebody shout hallelujah. Dogcast was loving and caring. She put smiles on the faces of the widows. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 9, the Bible says, For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. In all goodness, the fruit of the Spirit. Righteousness and truth. There's a question I want to ask us here. Every one of us should take it home. Question number one. What will people say about you after your exit? Or even now, what are people saying about you? There are people we hear it. Effa Joker is very wicked. Very greedy. He doesn't have sympathy for human beings. If they give him something to give somebody, we share it, we give them half. It's not caring. It's not accommodating. We hear this. this. It's very proud. Number two, how are you living your life? Three. I said here, yeah, the life you live now will determine where you spend your eternity. Whether in heaven. Or in hell. Number three. Are you good or evil? Four. How are you taking care of your children? And people say that it is from house, dance. You know, follow somebody outside. I know where I'm going. Listen very well. people have you invested into their lives before I forget the best investment anybody can do is to invest in the life of people not the number of houses you put and all these things because you will die you leave all these things behind not the amount of money you have in the bank how are you able to invest into the life of people how are you able to affect life positively that is the best investment anybody can do in life how is your relationship with your god is jesus your lord and personal savior let us take this food of thoughts now we are here for a woman known to all of us late mama wadam eremolo a member of Church of God Mission, number 26 Moka, a cousin one. She was a woman that loved his children, trained them, and they are all doing well. I'm saying what I know. What will people say about you? In the midst of the children, you have apostles. You have those who are civil servants. You have business men and women. And above all, they are all Christians. None of them is an idol worshiper. A woman of substance. Great woman. She made money. In the casino of Baigo. A businesswoman, vendor in land business. Let me say this thing. I didn't know when she started into, you know, purchasing and selling of properties. We are small then. But my bishop, my father and the Lord are seated here. Baba Utume told me that one of the last he bought many years, very close to my he said, This uh, mama, late mama, sold it to, her, to him. A very good businesswoman. A 
political woman leader kind and generous very brave bold and courageous and fearless you can't intimidate her always in church service before she before she fell sick she had a particular position she sits in the church and you dare not sit there hallelujah you can't sit there once you come you must leave that place somebody shout hallelujah All this is the children will be saying, How did you know this thing? And my pastor, when people come watch. Brethren, the life we, li we are living is not ours. One day, you will be called back home to give account on how you live your life. And that's what the Bible says in second For we shall all appear before the judgment seat of God. To give account of what we have done. Whether good or bad. A day is coming. A day is coming. Now that you are alive, it is time. Because there is no repentance in the grave. May God help us in Jesus' name. Let us love one another. In first john chapter 4 7 to 8 and 20 he said beloved let us love one another for love is of god and everyone that loveth is born of god and knoweth god verse 8 says he that loveth not knoweth not god for god is love verse 20 if a man say i love god and hate his brother he's a liar for he loveth not his brother whom he has seen how can he love God whom he has not seen? It's a question mark there. Look the Bible. I love God. I love God. But your brother, biological brother, the same blood. You hate him. Quarrel. Unforgiving spirit. Fight it. You want to enemies. You want to kill him. You can't help him. You say you love God. God say you don't know him that you are a liar. What is that thing that he or she must have done to you that you will not be able to forgive? Upon all we did to Christ because of our sins, he was naked. He was they bruised him, they did all sorts of him things to him on the cross of Calvary. At the end, say, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. On the cross, he said it is finished. Then what is that your fellow human being can do to you? You say there are people they say, Oh, you know, they forgive you. Oh, if you are here, you are like that. Let her to forgive because that may hinder you from going to heaven. Unforgiving spirit. I'm telling you the truth. Jesus said, if you don't forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. I love God, but your brother, you hate him. God said, you are a liar. How can you say, God, you never see as God be before? You never see him face to face. You say, you love him. See, your brother, the same blood, you hate him. You find me to kill him, to eliminate him, to oppress him, to intimidate him. You say, you love God. God said, you are a liar. 1 John 3, 17 to 18. It says, But whoso had this was good, and said his brother have need, and shutted up his bowel of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? Verse 18, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. God has blessed you. Thank God somebody like Docas was able to, you know, identify. Oh, what I have is given to me by God. Let me use it to help the widows. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as 10 years said, the God anointed him with Holy Ghost and power. He was going about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Anywhere he comes, you know, light comes. People are always very happy. They want to see him. They want to touch him because there is something they are going to gain from him. Brethren, that is a life you and I are expected to live. To affect lives of others. the west i love you i love you oh uh, okay. I, I i i i want to test something from you i'm very hungry hey, go and pray go and pray i will see you some uh, some people some folks 
Some of us, when they come to a position of authority, the people they knew before, they don't know they need them again. Is that a good life? We are expected to have. There are people today, by the time they get to heaven, eh, those that they assisted, they help, they will be the one to welcome him. It's not like we that are civil servants. Those who are wicked, maybe on the time they transfer them, if they happen to come back to their place of work, when everybody sees them come, they will run away. Nobody wants to greet them because they are wicked. But those that are good, everyone to embrace. Them. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. How is everything? I'm telling you, that is life. May God help us in Jesus' name. Let us not love in, with, just with our mouth, but in deed and in truth. Whatever good or help you can render to fellow human beings, you are doing it to God. I will soon round up. In Matthew chapter 25, 31. Matthew 25, 31. There is a parable Jesus made there, very striking and very, very important. Matthew chapter 25, in verse. 31. It says, Okay, because of time, let me start from verse 35. I was an on guard, and you gave me meat. I was tasty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick. And you visited me. I was in prison. And you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink, when saw we thee, a stranger we took you in, or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we thee sick or in prison, and we came unto thee, Verse 40. Listen and listen very well. And the king shall answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, In as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. This is the word of Jesus. And it, later there was a place say, Come to a place the kingdom prepared for you right from the foundation of the world. But those, he has to go to the left hand, those who are wicked, when they saw people in need, they will help. He said, they have, they will go into everlasting punishment. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. My father in the Lord, Babu Dume wrote a book. The benefit of serving God. Is serving God. The benefit of serving God. That's what like Jesus said. When do we see you sick? We visited you. He said, we saw you naked and you clothed us. They were asking Jesus. You were hungry, we fed you. How? He said, let me tell you. In as much as you have done it to the least of this, my brethren, you have done it to me. The benefit of serving God is serving man. It's also like what we said. I love God, I love God. Your brother is hungry, you feed him. You will help him. Then you say you know God. No. May God help us in Jesus' name. Maybe you are here. It's only Jesus that can make all this thing possible for you. Because Jesus said without me, you can do nothing. Where I took my steps, they said a certain disciple. Who is a disciple? Somebody that believes in the teaching and the principle of our Lord and Savior Jesus. That was why she was able to do all this thing she did. Was able to identify with the needs of the widow, the less privileged. Brethren, life becomes very sweet and very interesting if we help one another. In the case, People when they hear can go understand. May God help us in Jesus' name.
May God give us the grace to affect life positively. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have been doing it, keep on doing it. Record is taken. God will come to bless you. He will come to bless you the more. He will come to increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not in the business of helping, start doing it. And you see that God will open more doors of, of opportunities for you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. My Reverend, thank you, sir. God bless you. Praise God. As the service was going on, some people walked in. Important persons. Reverend Dr. Isaac Orehi. Let's celebrate her. Celebrate him, sorry. Bishop Mike Akbani. You're welcome, sir. Apostle Uwem is in the house. You're welcome, sir. Pastor Lawrence, you are welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. This is a service of song. It's a service. Hallelujah. Do I have any weakness here that is a service? If you have any weakness, just wave your hands. If you know it's a service, wave your hands. Hallelujah. Let's dip our hands into our pocket what to we'll give to the Lord. Let's give our offering tonight. Dip your hands to your pockets. Another season of blessing is now. Is now. I want to call on Reverend S. Wagimaja to pray for the offering. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you've taken your offering, let us stand up on our feet this evening. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this afternoon. We turn on the glory back to you, O oh Lord, for another opportunity to be blessed today. Father, we give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, our God, that you accept our offerings tonight and bless us in return. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You Oh, no. 
getting there but the service was going on our father walked in Reverend Dr. Erero the Zona coordinator a cousin too let's celebrate our father welcome sir it is time for prayers for the family we want to call our father Reverend Dr. F. Obasa the Zona coordinator a castle one. The family should walk out here for prayers. Praise the Lord. We want all the family members to come to the altar. While all the ministers of God present, please stand on our feet so we can bless them. Please just move to the altar here. Mama's children, grandchildren, family members, come to the altar, please. Move forward. Move forward. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just move forward. Let's clap for them as they come. Hallelujah. I told our apostle, I said to him that the womb that produced people like them that womb is a blessed womb. It's a blessed womb. And we are gathered here to give praise to God. I sort of pray for the children she has left behind. And we said, can we please, let's stand on our feet, everybody. Let's stretch our hands towards them. Let us all open our mouth and pray for them. Let's pray that God will sustain them. Let's pray that God will uphold them. That the glory of God will rest upon them. That they all will work together as a team. In the name of Jesus. Just stretch your hands towards them and pray for them. Pray for them. 
pray for them bless them they will not regret laying their mother to rest as from now henceforth more doors will be open for them as from now henceforth they will experience more of God's blessings more of God's peace more of God's progress open your mouth and bless them no evil will be before them the hands of the enemy will be far from them day and night Jehovah will guide them in all their journeys it shall be safe all of them will be older than mama open your mouth and pray for them please bless them pray for them thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus in Jesus name we pray we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to, to the, the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Hallelujah. We, we give glory to the Lord. To call on our father, Bishop Festus Odume, to come and join us to bless this family. Our father and our God, from whom all blessings flow. Look upon the children of Mama and cause your face to shine upon them. Look upon the children of Mama and clothe them with garment of health. Look upon the children of Mama, bless their food and their water. Whatever going to the assistant we make for life. Mama lived a fulfilled life. I'm sure the children will take the legacy she had left behind to the next level. And Lord, let it be that the children of Mama, wherever they are found under the face of the earth, your light will shine upon them. No door will be closed against them. Mama lived and served you. I can testify about that. Lord, every one of them will live a fulfilled life. They will fulfill the number of their days. If Mama lived to the age we are celebrating, children should be an improvement of their parents. It means they will live longer than that. And that is the pronunciation I make upon every one of you. 
that you people will live long let this family be known as a family of longevity in the name of Jesus of Nazareth all that you people set your hands to do shall prosper my mama was never a lazy woman and I believe also none of you is lazy the Lord will prosper every one of you you face the east the Lord will prosper you face the west the Lord will prosper you you face the north the Lord will prosper you you face the south the Lord will prosper you and heaven and earth shall respond when you need help in the name of Jesus Christ you set your hands to do in life the Lord will cause it to prosper. And if Mama is gone to rest with the Lord. Greater desire is that He wants to see every one of you come and meet her over there. And all of you who are candidates of heaven. In this family shall never be found anyone going to hell. In the name of Jesus Christ. The generation after generation shall call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, thank you. Is there anything that this family is in need of? Grant our desire. Is there anything, O Lord, our God, that they want you, O Lord, our God, to accomplish for them like you did our Lord for Mama? Lord, accomplish it for them in the name of Jesus. Mama, Mama is a blessed woman. Mama gave birth to ministers of the gospel in the vineyard of God. What a blessing. Just like Amram and Jacob, Aaron, Miriam, and Moses. The same thing I have seen. The apostle is there. Name it. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Our thanksgiving continues. It has no end as far as the life of Mama is concerned. And the blessing that she has left behind, they will continue to increase and increase and increase and increase without an end. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you so much. You can go back to your seats. Let's clap for Jesus again and again. Hallelujah. As they walk to their seats, two things are remaining. We want to call on Apostle Ifai Eremolo for the closing remark. Apostle Ifai Eremolo to say the closing remark. Let's celebrate Apostle as she walk up to this vote of thanks. Vote of thanks. You're welcome, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Glory to God. Even though I feel so traumatized emotionally because for the demise of my precious mother, because of the vacuum created by her demise, But the courage, God has given me courage because of the conviction I had in my spirit that she's with the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no shadow of doubt about that. She is in the bosom of the Lord. 
Glory to God. My spiritual and all the clergymen and women present here, functionaries, government functionaries and dignitaries from the Delta State Government, family members, friends, and well wishers. On behalf of the Eremulus family, I'm here to express our profound gratitude for your presence that have graced this occasion. Hallelujah. And I pray that God will bless you, favor and flavor you, and then when you cry, people will gather around you to succor you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for the speaker of the house. I want to appreciate um, the speaker of the house, the Delta State Governor, and all other government functionaries that have created time out of their busy schedule to be here. We don't take your presence for granted. We appreciate you. God blesses us. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, we expect the same gesture at our modern secondary school because tomorrow will be the entitlement. Remain blessed, victorious, and forever triumphant in Jesus' name. Thank you, the Apostle. Celebrate the Apostle with a clap of hand. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, we want to bring the service to a close. Just stand up. We want to bring the service to a close. You are before the presence of God. God is mine to invite. Okay, 10 a.m. The funeral service at our modern secondary school. 10 dots will kick off. the grace, just get seated to be served your refreshment. Don't hurry home. Join me to welcome our uh, Reverend Dr. Ewewo, the Zona Coordinator, a cousin too, for the closing class. Thank you, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the success of this service of songs tonight in honor of uh, mama that have gone to be with you thank you for taking control of everything we we'll return all the glory and honor to your name in the mighty name of jesus christ as we go back lord your presence will go with us you brought us safely you will take us all back safely in the mighty name of jesus tomorrow we shall gather again oh god to give mama the final farewell Thank you, Heavenly Father. Dismiss us now with your grace and your manifold blessings. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Just get seated. Let the governor go first, the bishop go first, before we leave. Please. Please. The governor is here and the governor elects. Just sit first, let them go first. Our bishops are here too. Let them go first, please. Oh, please. Jesus, I surrender all to him, my freely give. I will have love and trust in His presence daily. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, 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 oh,